Hello, my name is Monika Bednarek and I'm using Lawrence Anthony's and Kong software in teaching Corpus Linguistics to students. So this is a little video showing, um, showing you how to create n-grams or clusters using and Kong. So for this little demonstration I assume on the one hand that you've already loaded a corpus and I also assume that you have already created a frequency list, a word list. How then do you create um, a list of n-grams? The first thing again is to check the tool preferences to just look at the, set, at the settings for clusters. Um, so there's a, a range of options that you can use. Um, one thing that we probably want to do is we want to treat all data as lowercase because we're not interested in whether or not a uh, particular word is spelled with a capital letter or not. Um, then if we want to look at if we want to look at n-grams specifically of course we click um, n-grams and what you can see here is that this allows you to ten, then choose the size of the n-gram. So do you want to look at a um, two-word cluster, which would be a two-gram, a three-word cluster, a three-gram, a four-word cluster, a four-gram, and so on. It also lets you to set, um, set the minimum n-gram frequency. So if this um, is set to one, um, that means you're interested in getting um, a list of every n-gram in the corpus as long as it occurs at least once. Um, so often as corpus linguists we're interested in patterns, so we might want to set it to two, which means we get a list of n-grams that are at least repeated once. So um, let's see what happens if we click start. Um, we can see that it comes, it then comes up with a list of the um, two-gram here because it's been set to two, and it also comes up, um, and we can see that the minimum frequency setting 2 has been applied, so um, we only get n-grams with a frequency of 2. And um, yeah, we see that it has been sorted according to frequency. We can also change these settings, so for example we could um, sort it alphabetically. So we would get a lot of the ones um, that are basically just combinations of the indefinite article and, um, and a noun. Um, so I, I personally prefer the sorting by the frequency, but that might be um, interesting if you're um, if you're particularly interested in in, in grams for f that start with a particular word. So we can also change the n gram size here, for example. So if we can look at combinations of three grams. Um, so interestingly, here this country and the American or healthcare are important two grams in this corpus because it consists of. Um, speeches by um, by President Obama in um, in the run-up to the election. So if we um, change the setting to three grams we then get um, combinations of three words sorted according to frequency. Also interesting here for example the frequency of yes we can which was of course a campaign slogan. So these are some of the basic settings um, for creating n-grams using and conch.